an administrator wants to model a percentage of the population that has at least graduated high school as a function of years after 2001. So that's the key here, as a function of years after 2001, not the actual year itself. In 2006, which is five years after 2001, 85.5% of people were high school graduates. Now, not, it's not necessary to use a decimal here because we're not actually taking percentages of, of something. We're just stating the actual percentage itself. So you can use 0.855 if you want, but 85.5 is fine in this case since you're not multiplying it by anything. Um, in 2010, which is nine years after 2001, this number jumped to 87.1%. So, um, good thing. Find the rate of change, then explain the real world meaning of this value. So we go from 85.5 to 87.1. You find the difference there. Um, that is 1.6, and that's in percent, so that's the percentage jump, over four years. So that means that if we divide that by 4, we get 0.4% per year. So that's how many percent, now be, you have to be real careful here with percentages, this is how many percentage points uh, it's increased by uh, each year. We'll learn more about that later. In part B, we want to create a linear model that models a percentage, which we'll call P, of high school graduates as a function of years after 2001, we'll call that T. Okay, so we want to find something in the form p as a function of t. Well, we know that in, we really don't know what it is in 2001, so we don't know the initial value. That's a problem. We do know, however, that it increases by 1.6% uh, uh, per, per year on top of that. So the problem is, we need to start in 2001 because that's what it's asking for. Well, we know the rate of change is 1.6. So if we're over here at year five, and we know that our output is currently 85.5%, uh, that means that if it's going up as time passes forward, then that means it goes, it's gone from a downward position back five years ago. So if we go back five years, that means that the, we have to basically undo increases of 1.6% to five times. So that's going to bring the intercept down a little bit. So we have to go down five multiples of 1.6 since we're working backwards. If we go down five multiples of 1.6, well, let's see what that does. 85.5 minus five multiples of 1.6 puts us at 77.5. So this point right here, which will allow us to fill in the rest, is at 75. Uh, excuse me, 77.5 percent. So that allows us to say that in 2001, or the vertical intercept should be 77.5. The other way to do this is, well, we know that the that the percentage is 85.5. We don't know what the intercept is, so we'll call this uh, whatever you want to call it. You can call it um, I for intercept, but we do know that that's as a function of five years after 2001. So you'll notice that 1.6 times five is precisely what we're doing here. And when we move it to the other side, we do our algebra, we would subtract 1.6 times five, and that would give us the initial value, which we obtained the same way, but we kind of thought about it graphically. In C, what percentage of the US public are expected to graduate high school in the year 2015? Well, that's going to be 2015 is 14 years later. And uh, so if I do 77.5 uh, plus 1.6 times the number of years it's passed since 2001, I get 99.9%. Wow, that's pretty optimistic. And it probably will not happen, but uh, that's what our model predicts.